One of the leaders in cloud computing is Salesforce. It is currently the number one provider of customer relationship management software globally that supports all aspects of business working together in the same platform, including number one, sales, number two, enterprise resource planning, number three, customer service, number four, marketing automation, number five, business analytics, number six, mobile application building, and much more. I'm Joel, and join me in this brand new tutorial as we discuss Salesforce. For this session, you will learn one, Salesforce, number two, benefits of Salesforce, and number three, pricing, number four, software architecture, and number five, simple implementation of Salesforce. So get your notes ready and let's get started with this session. Number one, Salesforce. Salesforce was introduced in the year 1999 with its founder and CEO, Mark Benioff. The main office is located in San Francisco, California, United States. It is now a Fortune 500 company with 50,000 employees, guided by their four core values, trust, customer success, innovation, and equality. Benefits of Salesforce. There are many benefits to using Salesforce as a CRM software. For one, this is a software for managing customer interaction such as scheduling tasks, sending email, record storage, etc. Number two, multi-tenant architecture, commonly referred to as multi-tenancy, a software architecture in which multiple single instances of software run on a single physical server. The server then serves multiple tenants. Number three, Salesforce services allow businesses to use cloud technology to better connect with customers, partners, and potential customers. The software has become the number one for customer success and helps business track customer activity, market to customer, and many more services. Salesforce offers different kinds of applications. Examples of these are Chatter, Sales Cloud, Force.com, Service Cloud, and Marketing Cloud, etc. And number four, Salesforce has a different capability on which you can get it via certifications and allow you to move forward to a higher level. It has the administrator, developer, cloud consultant, and architect. Pricing, developer edition, contact manager, group, professional, enterprise, unlimited. Software architecture. Salesforce in terms of software architecture is a model view controller or MVC. There are three states in MVC, which includes model, contains the model states, notify view state change, view, renders the model, requests the model update, and sends the user input to controller. Controller, maps user action to model operations and determines the next view. In this picture, the control state is the codes or configurations being done to send it to the model state, to send it to the view state. View state that represents the UI or the interfaces and model states that indicates the data of the system. Application building block refers to the applications or process that needs to be built or customized by Salesforce. There are two types named declarative, which refers to simplicity plus speed, and is the out-of-the-box functionality for the configuration part of Salesforce that is not complex. Programmatic is for control plus flexibility and the customization part on Salesforce that you will customize based on the business requirements. There are many key areas in the declarative part that you need to know. To help you be familiarized with them, we listed them together with their definitions. We have app, which is a set of fields, objects, permissions, and functionality that supports a business process. Then objects. These corresponds to tables in a relational database 
and in tab on spreadsheet. It has two classifications, standard object and custom object. Then fields, a response to columns in the spreadsheet, which is also classified as standard fields and custom fields. Records, a response to row in the spreadsheet. Then relationships, which are relating objects, which are master detail, lookup, self, and many to many. Validation loops improve the quality of your data. And page layouts, the user interface of a record. Record types use to differentiate sales process in an object. Workflow groups automate your organization's standard process. New tasks, new email alert, new field update, new outbound message, then approval processes. It refers to the automated process used to approve records in Salesforce. Reports, list of records that meets the criteria you define, under which have many types like tabular, summary, matrix, and joint reports. And lastly, we have the dashboards. Declarative security. User, a person who will use the platform. Profiles, control the user's object and field level access permissions. Permission sets, same functionality as profiles, but permission sets can have different lists of users with different profiles. Roles and subordinates, control a user's record level access permissions record-based sharing, organization-wide defaults, specifies the level of sharing for all records in an object, sharing grant privileges for a user to a record, manual sharing users via the share button on a record detail page, sharing rules, share records owned by users in one grouping, Apex sharing, share records on users programmatically. Now, moving on to programmatic. As mentioned earlier, it states for control plus flexibility, allowing for customization. There are three types that fall under programmatic. The first type is SF features, which includes flows, process builders, triggers, classes, and test classes. The second type is coding, which includes database, which has different languages, including Salesforce Object Query Language, Salesforce Object Search Language, Data Manipulation Language. Then on front-end development, we have the following components. Visual Force, a framework with a tag-based markup language. Lightning Component, a UI framework for developing dynamic web apps for mobile and desktop devices. Lightning Web Component, a new breed of lightweight frameworks built on web standards. Backend Development, it focuses on Apex, a powerful object-oriented language with many features typically found in similar languages such as Java. Integration and Web Services, which includes REST and SOAP. Deployment, it uses XML, which is extensible markup language. The third type under programmatic is SF IDE, which uses force.com, Eclipse, and Visual Studio Code. Now that we've broken down the software architecture of Salesforce, it's time for you to build your own Salesforce. Don't worry, we got all the steps to help you get started. Just like any other platform, there are certain rules that needs to be followed in order to achieve smooth operation within workflow. For developers, these commandments are created to guide them in making their own Salesforce. The five commandments below are optional and developers have the freedom to follow or not. To learn more about Salesforce, you can visit the following links. Simple implementation in Salesforce. Are you ready for some real work? To help you implement Salesforce in the simplest way possible, we created a scenario that will serve as your guide. 
Deloitte will be hosting its annual All Hands Meeting this coming November 2020. In order to do this, Deloitte has decided to build a conference management via Salesforce with the following scenario. There are two kinds of objects. One, session, which is composed of session name, description, session date and time, and level. Level can either be beginner, intermediate, or advanced. The second object is speaker, composed of first name, last name, email, and biography. One session can have many speakers, while one speaker can speak in many sessions provided that he or she will be on a different date and time. Sessions and speakers must be in one application called conference. The conference app must be accessible to system administrator. When a speaker is assigned to a session, send a confirmation email to the speaker with the following template. For the two address, put the speaker's email. On the subject, speaker confirmation. For the body, put dear speaker first name plus speaker last name. Your session, session name, on session date time is confirmed. Thank you for speaking at the conference. Build a custom object. Let's start by creating a custom object session to store information about the orders we plan to take. Click the gear icon and select setup. Go to click the object manager tab next to home. Click create and select custom object. Create an object as follows. For label, put session. For plural label, put sessions. For object name, sessions. For record name, put session name. For data type, put text. Under optional features, select allow reports. Under object creation options, select launch new custom tab wizard after saving this custom object. Click save. This directs you to the new custom object tab screen. Next, let's make the tab. Note that if the tab wizard didn't automatically launch, that's okay. Enter tabs in quick find and select tabs. In the custom object tabs section, click new. Follow these steps to create a tab for your custom object. Number one. For object, select Sessions. Number 2. Click Tab Style and choose any image. We chose the cup. Number 3. Click Next, Next, and Save. Now you have your custom object and a tab. Let us proceed on making fields inside the session object. Make a field for tracking the level of sessions you make. Use a pick list field. A pick list is like a drop down menu where you can choose an item from the list. Click the gear icon and select setup. Click object manager. Click the session object. Click fields and relationships and then click new. Select pick list and then click next. Define the field as follows. For field label, put level. For values, select enter values and reach each value separated by a new line. Enter the following values, beginner, intermediate, advanced. For field name, put level. At required, select always require a value in the field in order to save a record. Leave everything else at is and click next, next, and save and new. Because you click save and new in the last section, you should already be on the new custom field page. If not, that's okay. 
from fields and relationship on the session object, click new. Select session date and time and click next. Define the field as follows. For field label, session date and time. For field name, put session underscore date underscore time. Leave everything else as is and click next, next, and save and new. Because you click save and new in the previous section, you should already be on the new custom field page. If not, that's okay. From fields and relationships on the session object, click new. Select text area long and click next. Define the field as follows. For field label, description. For field name, description. For number of visible lines, put 3. Leave everything else as is. And click next, next, and save new. Now let's proceed to the other custom object, speaker. To store information about the speakers. Click the gear icon and select setup. Go to click the object manager tab next to home. Click create and select custom object. Create an object as follows. For label, put speaker. For plural label, put speakers. For object name, put speaker. For the record name, speaker name. For data type, put text. Under optional features, select allow reports. Under object creation options, select launch new custom tab wizard after saving this custom object. Click save. This directs you to the new custom object tab screen. Next, let's make the tab. Note that if the tab wizard didn't automatically launch, that's okay. Enter tabs in Quick Find and select Tabs. In the Custom Object Tabs section, click New. Follow the steps to create a tab for your custom object. For Object, select Speaker. Click Tab Style and choose any image. We chose the cup. Click Next. Next. And Save. Great work! Now you have your speaker object in a tab. Let's make a field for the first name, last name, email, and biography. Click the gear icon and select Setup. Click Object Manager. Click the speaker object. Click Fields and Relationships and then click New. Select Text and then click Next. Define the field as follows. For field label, put first name. For field name, put first underscore name. For the length, put 255. Leave everything else as S and click next. Next. And save in new. Because you clicked Save and New in the previous section, you should already be on the new custom field page. If not, that's okay. From Fields and Relationships on the Speaker object, click New. Select Email and then click Next. Define the field as follows. For Field Label, put Email. For Field Name, put Email. Leave everything else as is and click next, next, and save and new. Because you click save and new in the previous section, you should already be on the new custom field page. If not, that's okay. From fields and relationship on the session object, click new. Select text area long and click Next. Define the field as follows. 
for field label, biography. For field name, biography. For number of visible lines, put 3. Leave everything else as is. And click next, next, and save. Because you click save and new in the previous section, you should already be in the new custom field page. If not, that's okay. From fields and relationships on the session object, click new. Select lookup relationship and click next. For related to, click session and click next. Define the field as follows. For field label, put session. For field name, put session. For child relationship name, put speakers. Leave everything else as is. And click next, 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 and save. Let's now create an app and put the objects that we created. Enter App Manager in Quick Find and select App Manager. Click New Lightning App. Define the new Lightning App as follows. For the app name, put Conference. For developer name, put Conference. Click Next. On the App option screen, leave the defaults as is and click Next. On the Utility Items screen, leave the defaults as is and click Next. On the Navigation Items screen, select Home, Speaker, Sessions and move them to the selected Items box. Then click Next. On the Assign to User Profiles screen, Select System Administrator and move it to the selected profiles. Then click Save and Finish. We're almost near the finish line. Let's create an email template for workflow rules. Click the gear icon and select Setup. Go to Search and click Classic Email Templates. Click New Template. Click Next. Create the email template as follows. For available for use, put check. For email template name, put booking speaker email template. For template unique name, put booking speaker email template. For subject, put subject colon speaker confirmation for the body copy the text shown on the screen build a workflow rule click the gear icon and select setup go to search and click workflow rules click continue click new rule for the object, put speaker. Create workflow as follows. For rule name, sending email to speaker. For description, put when a speaker is assigned to a session, send a confirmation email to the speaker. For run this rule if, put formula evaluates to true. For rule, Copy the text shown on the screen. Click Save and Next. For Add Workflow Action, put Email Alert. Create Email Alert as follows. For Description, put Send Email to Speaker when Assigned. For Unique Name, put Send Email to Speaker when Assigned. For email template, put booking speaker email template. For recipient type, put email field. For include the email field, put 
email in the selected recipient. Click Save. And that brings us to the end of another session. Today, we learn all about Salesforce, its benefits and pricing, as well as how you can implement for your use. Salesforce multi-tenant architecture, coupled with its flexible prices, makes it a perfect CRM to pair with your business. Just take note of the commandments and the basic implementation tips, and you're surely good to go. See you again in the next tutorial as we introduce another cloud service in the name of Mewsoft and how you can maximize it for your business.